Hey everyone, welcome back to Dietitians and Nutrition Support. Today we're going to be talking about nasal bridles. Maybe you've heard of them before or maybe you haven't, um, but the long and the short of it is that nasal bridles are a way to keep your enteral feeding tubes in place. So if you've ever seen someone who's on enteral nutrition, uh, particularly enteral nutrition that starts at the nose, um, you'll know that the tube is going to go up through their nose and through their sinuses to go all the way down uh, through the esophagus and towards the stomach or the small intestine, whatever that uh, kind of end point is going to be for the tube. But if the tube starts at the nose, we need a way to be able to secure the tube so that it hopefully stays in place, doesn't move around, and doesn't get you know dislodged or have any issues uh, that would make it so the patient couldn't get fed to the appropriate location safely. So in some facilities, you might see things like tape that are used to help hold um, that feeding tube in place. And in other facilities, they will use something called a nasal bridle. So a nasal bridle is an apparatus that you put up each nair and so you go up either side of the nostrils and then you join them together uh, with little magnets on the other side or the back side in the sinuses on the other side of the nasal bone. And so once it's on the other side of the bone, you string the bridle through and tie it on the front so that it can hold the feeding tube in place. And because the nasal bone is actually really strong, um, anyone who is pulling at it or trying to you know, jostle around with a nasal bridle, it's gonna be pretty difficult difficult to get it to, you know, kind of unlatch and move around. So this makes it a little bit uh, more of a sturdy choice uh, to keep that tube in place uh, that can really help to reduce the need for replacing feeding tubes um, or any uh, complications that could come with a dislodged tube. So that was just a really short overview of what a nasal bridle uh, can do for you to hold that feeding tube in place. But uh, this weekend I had the great opportunity to go to the DNS symposium. Um, um, and I watched a really awesome uh, how-to video with Britta Brown, who is a clinical dietitian and a master extraordinaire at placing nasal bridles. So I filmed that for you guys to hopefully get a sense of how a nasal bridle might be placed and what that looks like on a patient. So let's jump over to Britta and she will give us the how-tos. Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to place a bridle to secure a feeding tube. So the first thing that you would do is get some form of lubrication so that the stylets can move freely um, over the sinus as you're placing the bridle. And there's two stylets on the bridle. Each one of these is going to go into the nair. And if you need to, it's okay to bend um, the stylet if that's going to help you a little bit to get the magnets to click. And basically what you're gonna be doing is inserting these stylets into the nares and this magnet is going to connect and it's going to help you thread this filament um, over the top of your sinuses and help you secure the tube. So if this was a real person, I would lubricate the tips of these stylets to make it more comfortable for the patient. And then as you get ready to insert the stylets, you need to go straight back on the patient, not upwards. So straight back, and you can do one stylet at a time. So you can go in one, and then down with the second. And when you get there, you'll hear the magnets click. And if you aren't sure, you can pull back a little bit and you'll feel tension on those filaments. Once you've heard the magnet click, then you can remove the wire, set that down, and the side with a handle, you can gently pull and bring that out and then disengage the magnet. So at this point, you end up having two filaments hanging outside of the nares and then you're ready to secure the feeding tube. So if this feeding tube was in place, you would take the tip of the feeding tube and you would put it in this clip where there's a bit of a groove and then the second filament would go across the top and you could secure the feeding tube by closing this blue clip. So it's best if you can leave about a centimeter or a finger's worth of space between the clip and um, the nares so that you don't have skin breakdown. After you've done that and you're happy with where the tip is at, you can just do a simple square knot to secure the end of the clip, tie that, and then you're able to clip these tails off with a pair of scissors and you will be all set. 
If for some reason you need to reposition your feeding tube later, you can take um, a product that comes with the bridle or you can just use your fingers to open up the clip, disengage it, and then adjust the feeding tube as necessary and then re-secure it once the feeding tube is placed. And that's how you place a nasal bridle to secure a feeding tube. Thank you.